Di, another good win for us and another good performance against Sale Sharks at the weekend. Yeah, I thought, you know, it was um, everything we talked about within training, we pretty much delivered. We knew um, that we had to start really strongly. That was That's the strongest part of the game and take that start away from them. And, you know, we, we had a try within the first couple of minutes and, and built on that. We had a little bit of stick, sticky patch in the middle of the game when Sale come, uh, came back at us, but I thought we found another gear um, and, and finished, finished the game strongly as well. So uh, you couldn't have got any more out there, a five point uh, maximum bonus point win. And so, you know, we really pleased and it keeps adding to the momentum. That win ends a block of games where you didn't have your international players and they'll provide a big boost coming back into the squad this week. Yeah, we split the season up into, into three phases, obviously pre pre Six Nations, Six Nations and uh, and you know, obviously post Six Nations. And the Six Nations period was always gonna be a huge period this season because I think, I think something like nine games where traditionally it's only like five or six games where they'll miss uh, because of the obviously the, the break in the World Cup. So it's been a huge period for us, you know, a, a period where um, we put ourselves right in the mix. Um, and it's important for us and you know, we keep that momentum going. Uh, we keep keep on picking up points and, and hopefully right at the end of the season you know uh, we'll, we'll be there in the mix. This weekend's trip another big one up to Newcastle and somewhere that we've not always enjoyed the best of times. Yeah obviously it's uh, the Andy Good farewell party as well so um, yeah, he's a fantastic character you know both on and off the field he's done a great job for them in that short period I think he's uh, turned the season around to, to, um, in so many ways really and he's done a great job for us, moving us forward as well, but hopefully this is one game that he doesn't finish with a smile on his face. We know the quality of the man, we know that he, what you know what threats he brings, but hopefully it'll be more about us and uh, and making sure that we can get our game going. We can play at a tempo that um, you know the Newcastle was struggling with, but they're going to be fighting for their lives, so we know it's going to be a real tough game. We spoke there about how well. We've done in this period without the internationals, but now two big weeks in the Premiership before we turn our attentions to Europe with the trip to Newcastle and then Northampton back at home next weekend. Yeah, the, the next two games could be real huge in cementing us in that in the top four. I think, um, you know, obviously our goal has always been top six and we've probably got one foot in that top six. We probably need a, at least another couple of wins to, to cement ourselves in there, but, but we certainly got probably one foot in there and at this moment in time we're in a strong position. But if we can pick up the next two results, I think that will certainly cement us in the top six, and and hopefully you know um, put us in with a real good chance of making that top four. So, uh, two difficult games in, in Newcastle away, then obviously a big one against Northampton, which will be a real showdown for that top uh, top four sp spot really. So two massive uh, important games in the bed, you know where we finish at the end of the season in the Viva Premiership then we can, we, we can start thinking about, um, obviously, exiting the quarterfinals of Europe.